and welcome back. The cooler than average weather is back. We had a lot of cloud cover today and some rain and some snow showers. Just some light precipitation out there. Here's a look outside. We kept mainly cloudy skies. Uh, that's where we are right now in North Platte with a temperature of 38 degrees with the wind northeast around 7 miles per hour. Other temperatures across the region. The cooler air up north, still some snow up in that direction. So uh, lower 20s out toward Valentine, near 30 at Fedford and Hyannis, but most everybody else into the mid to upper 30s. 30s right now. Here's a look at the winds. Now, mainly from a northerly or easterly direction. That's a cool flow. It produces a little bit of moisture. That's why we kept the clouds and there's some uh, rain or snow showers out there. Wind speeds pretty light, uh, 10 or uh, around 5 to 15 miles per hour in most places. Now, Doppler radar showing that we just have some light snow showers just off to the south and west of North Platte. Could have some snow showers near the Imperial area, just off to the east of Curtis, approaching Lexington, and some rain showers just off to the east of McCook. Uh, mainly dry conditions, lots of cloud cover as you make your way into the sand hills and up toward Valentine. Do have a frontal boundary over us. So we got two systems right now, one low to our north and east. Uh, that has uh, skirted us. Uh, we did not get the snow from that one, and we're in anticipating another low pressure system now off to our south and to our west. And we're in that cool air mass, a couple of high pressure systems to our north, pumping in that cooler flow from a northerly direction. So across the country, we have that snow over the northern plains now making its way into the Great Lakes states. Another batch of snow over the uh, southwest, also some rain into the south, and we also have the possibility of severe weather on the warm side of the system. Warm air off the east coast but we got that dip in the jet stream so we got cool air over us now with those temperatures staying well below our average high which is 49 this time of year here's a look at the sky cast and any rain or snow shower should end over the next couple of hours. Uh, we are going to fall back into the upper 20s by around the midnight hour. Keep a good amount of cloud cover with that easterly wind through the overnight. Lows in the lower 20s and then high temperatures as we make our way through the day on your Thursday will be near 40 degrees. Now for Thursday, there's another slight chance of some rain or snow showers and we should be clearing out by later on into the afternoon and into early evening. More clouds work their way in for Friday and we'll stay mainly dry during the daylight hours temperatures getting back up there into the upper 40s but as we make our way through your friday night there are some more chances for some snow showers especially late friday and into the overnight into early saturday morning but again these look pretty light so keep your eye on that low pressure system that's coming out of the southwest it will just move off to our south giving us a chance of some rain or snow showers as we go through the day tomorrow highs only near 40 and then we're right back up there into the upper 40s on Friday. Mostly sunny during the day. Could be a little bit of a disturbance that produces those snow showers for your Friday evening, but more high pressure is working its way in after that. Here's a look at the extended forecast. So we got that a couple of chances of some light snow showers. Temperatures rising back through the 40s over the next couple of days. But for the weekend, mostly sunny skies both days. High of 45 on Saturday, 53 on Sunday, and 45 for the day on Monday with partly cloudy skies. Then another slight chance of some rain or snow showers. Temperatures falling back to near 40 on Tuesday with more snow chances for Wednesday of next week and cooler a high of 32. We'll be back after this. Our mission at Pathology 